So for our 2023 Kia Sportage SX Prestige, we like to show a lot of cool self-driving on this page. Now it's not fully autonomous driving, but it is uh, lane keep assist, lane follow assist, and smart cruise control, and it is a blast. Now I've had some people comment and message, uh, can you leave your hands off the wheel permanently? The answer to that is yes and no. So if you're driving straight for a long time, then the Kia Sportage 2023 will, if you have lane follow assist and a smart cruise control on, the car can go five minutes or 10 minutes, maybe even 15 minutes without telling me to put my hands on the wheel. Now, in some instances, when you turn around a curve or if you enter a construction zone, the lane follow assist can, is liable. It can just turn off or it can ask you to put your hands back on the wheel. So I wanna show you some video footage right now of uh, what happens when our uh, car, our Kia Sportage, tells me to put my hands back on the wheel and I don't listen. I don't put my hands back on the wheel. Let's, let me show you that right now. So as you can see from the video, I took that while driving down a highway in South Korea. Um, first, it'll just, the message will appear on your display saying, keep your hands on the wheel, and that'll stay on there for about 20 or 30 seconds. Then it'll, that icon will turn red and start beeping, and then you should definitely put your hands on the wheel, because if you don't, then in another, another 15 or 20 seconds, then uh, lane follow assist will shut off and it'll come up with a, just a really annoying sound to wake you up, which at that point, if you don't put your hands on the wheel in 40 seconds or 60 seconds, then you're probably asleep, which <laughs> considering how well the car drives, I mean, you, you could be, you could be asleep. So don't fall asleep while you self-drive. I'll just say that. Okay, topic number two of today's video now, the new 2024 Kia Sportage will be coming out soon. There's already lots of people putting in their pre-orders for, for that. Um, I'm, I am happy to say that the 2024, it is a carryover of the current 2023, meaning that all of the, the cool design and stuff, the, the look of it, um, the manufacturing of it, that all is going to be relatively the same. So, um, you know, if you have a 2023 Kia Sportage, then, you know, you're in luck. You, you bought it in time because there's not going to be that many cosmetic changes. Now, there are a few uh, niche changes that I'll go over right now. Now, what's new across all trims? Number one, you're going to have LED lights, LED headlights. And I believe that is, for the 2023 model, most uh, Kia Sportages have them except the base model. So now, all trims in the 2024, they're going to have LED lights. Number two, you're going to have in all trims, all models, uh, you're going to have rear airbags, meaning in the second row to make the car a little safer. And then number three, they're going to uh, have standard a 2.5 liter engine with these specifications right here. And you can let me know what they mean in the comments because I sure don't. Also, the EX all-wheel drive no longer has a heated steering wheel, and the SX Prestige all-wheel drive uh, no longer has a heated windshield. But the big takeaway from these changes is really there's not that much changing. Now, I don't want to speak too soon. This article didn't mention anything about the software. Um, is the Kia Sportage going to have an updated uh, highway driving or self-driving features, 
we'll see in the co in the coming months when the car actually comes out. But those are just the very small niche updates for now about the 2024. Finally, for the third part of the video, um, I was at a local Kia dealership he here in Korea and I was able to hop in to an EV9. For those of you that don't know, an EV9 is um, Kia's all-electric SUV vehicle. Uh, it is larger than the Kia Sportage. It has the capability to have three rows. So it is a huge family vehicle um, and it has some pretty neat features too. So just check it out. Quick video right now. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. Uh, it's charging now. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Just coming at you demonstrating the new EV9 and what a beauty she is just want to give you a quick glimpse here And here is the exterior of the EV9. Here's the back seats. Back seats are ventilated and heated. All right, that's it. Peace.